the 15th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Jerry Judy, wide receiver, Alabama. Drew Locke, meet your new favorite target. He's down the sideline. Jerry Judy, what an effort. The Broncos walk away with the steal of the draft, the fleet-footed wide receiver capable of outrunning and outfoxing even the toughest defenders. Yeah, there's no such thing as a sure thing, but uh, Jerry Judy's pretty close. With the 15th pick, the Broncos have landed a player thought by many to be the best wide receiver in this year's NFL draft. An immediate lift to an offense that, as you know, was often anemic last season. And our team cannot wait to talk about it. Denver 7's Lionel Bienvenue leads tonight's coverage. Lionel? Hey, guys. Often anemic. That was a very well said. Maybe even understated. Huh. So, yeah, the Broncos wanted and needed a receiver, a bona fide big play weapon for Drew Locke in the Broncos offense and the first ever player from Alabama drafted by John Elway. We have team coverage of the draft here on Denver 7. Broncos insider Troy Rank is here. Nick Rothschild is at his remote studio at home. Troy, let's start with you. You called this one. You had Judy going to the Broncos in your mock draft, and we had Judy all over front and center on our draft special last night. Yeah, I got a little lucky. Hey, sometimes you do. I love everything about this pick, Lionel. Broncos get the best receiver in the... We believe that the virus is very real. We all want things to get back to the way they were. But what is more important, protecting people's health or their livelihoods? I see people who are unable to eat because they can't buy food. Once you start pulling back, there will be infections. We're going 360. As we near the expiration of the state's stay-at-home order tonight, the decision from local mayors who say it's not time yet. Rain and some mountain snow tonight and Friday, but you're going to love the seven-day forecast. And welcome back. Just as Denver was ahead of the governor in calling for a stay-at-home order, the Mile High City will go its own way in extending it. And for another two weeks at the least, Denver 7's Addie Wajardo is trying to shake out some of the tales from the city and is in the newsroom tonight. Addie? Well, Ann and Shannon, while Colorado's stay-at-home order expires on Monday, Denver has decided to push it at least to May 8th.